Now, recently we've been reading a lot about AI that China just uh, launched called the DeepSeek version 3. There's been billions and billions of dollars to build the latest AI large language models, but now a Chinese research lab has built a competitive model in just two months with dumbed down GPUs for less than, get this, six million dollars. Not billion, six million dollars. I mean, it took DeepSeek only 5.6 million dollars to create and open this uh, AI technology platform. These other companies, Microsoft, Google, and OpenAI, they use millions and millions to build their OpenAI platforms. And to see that DeepSeek finished this project in two months in their lab, it's something that is just so, it's just so mind blowing. Now, one thing that you will notice is that the difference between DeepSeek and ChatGPT is that ChatGPT focuses more on general purpose conversational AI, whilst DeepSeek is industry specific. For example, EVs. So, NEO can use to advance, build, and grow their company using DeepSeek, whereas they cannot do that really with just ChatGPT. So, this DeepSeek area of focus it's industry specific. When you go to applications, you will notice that for ChatGPT, it's con content creation, customer support, etc. But on the other hand, DeepSeek can be used for market analysis, supply chain, RDs, and etc. Target audience for ChatGPT, it's individual developers and business, and target audience for DeepSeek, it's enterprises and businesses. I mean, these are some of the things that are different between the two platforms. So this AI platform that DeepSeek just launched version 3, apparently in some of the problems that people have been comparing it against, it is beating Google by large scale. Is it be it's beating ChatGPT, it is beating Meta AI, which is something that obviously it's so incredible. And to know that they build it using just $5.6 million in just a space of two months, it's just uh, incredible because this shows you the kind of uh, uh, technology or the kind of AI technology that China is building. We saw that apparently DeepSeek used H800 to build this. They tried to make use of those chips they had to produce this and to see the kind of results that they've produced. Boy, I must say, this is pretty, pretty good. It can help Neo with market analysis, consumer insight, data-driven research, computer analysis, product development, supply chain optimization, customer experience enhancement, sustainability and ESG goals, autonomous driving technology, financial planning and investment. So it can help. These are the benefits that companies like Neo can be able to get from DeepSeek. So Chinese EV makers, they don't have to worry anymore now because this DeepSeek, they can use it to research and advance their companies. This is massive, guys. I mean, when I got to read this news, I've been reading about DeepSeek like about like what, three, four days, and I'm just impressed, man. The results are quite astonishing. I mean, to know that they were able to build this AI language in just, of course, 5.6 million, it just makes me to think or to wonder what other, other companies in China or other uh, AI platforms in China are thinking. But one thing is for sure, they are all impressed, right? To have a look at how much uh, DeepSeek spent in creating the, this platform, to have a look or to see the progress that DeepSeek was able to do in a space of just two months. I mean, you know that this year, OpenAI, ChatGPT, they, they are planning to spend $5.4 billion this year. Google is planning to spend $551 billion and Microsoft is planning to spend $13 billion on this AI platform and yet deep seek. Deep seek to know that they, they are able to do these things in just a couple of millions. It is something that is bringing some heavy serious competition into the US. I mean, when I got to read this, man, I'm telling you, it's just amazing, especially with the limited resource, especially with the restrictions of some of the NVIDIA chips not being able to be transported uh, into China. This is uh, marvelous. This is good because China right now, it's showing the U.S., especially after the newly elected Donald Trump, it's just showing the U.S. that regardless of the U.S. trying to stop China from advancing in terms of technology, they have got this under control. I mean, former CEO of Google last year, I think on May, he came out and said that the U.S. is ahead by like three years in terms of open AI when comparing to the kind of AI technology that is in China. But he came in recently, he said they've caught up. But now Schmidt is singing a different tune. Here he is on ABC's This Week. Well, I used to think we were a couple of years ahead of China. But China has caught up in the last six months in a way that is remarkable. The fact of the matter is that a couple of the Chinese uh, 
programs. Uh, one, for example, is called Deep Seek. Looks like they've caught up. It raises major questions about just how wide OpenAI's moat really is. It, it is already outpacing, outperforming these AI platforms that these US-based companies have produced with. Some are planning to spend billions on these platforms, but DeepSeek just managed to spend 5.6 million and be able to produce this. So you can imagine the amount of money if they could spend $10 million, the amount of progress they can make. I mean, this just simply means that the $51 billion, the $13 billion, the $5 billion that these US-based companies are intending on spending to uh, better their AI platforms, DeepSeek might spend maybe additional $5 million to catch up with where they are, which is something that is incredible, something that is just amazing. Hear me out, guys. Hear this. DeepSeek was able to do this or show this kind of progress regardless of the restrictions of chips or some of the NVIDIA chips, some of the powerful NVIDIA chips. So you can imagine where this takes or where this will take the, the Chinese market. This will take companies like Neo to the next level because right now they can create their very own H100 because of DeepSeek, because of the information they can get from DeepSeek. They can analyze, they can grow their business, they can achieve certain goals, they can grow their finances and make the company to continue being more efficient, which is something that is just so great. So yes, man, this is what we read. This is what we see also today. Tell me what you think about this. I think US companies right now, I'm sure that they, they are realizing that they need to put in more work because as I've said, former CEO of Google last year in May, he said China was too behind, three years behind when you look into the AI technology platform, when you look into the AI platforms. But right now we are admitted to say that they have caught up in a space of six months, they have caught up. They were three years behind, according to him, by around May. Right now, he's saying they have caught up, which is something that shows you the kind of progress that China is making, which is something that shows you that China, it is a country which, economy-wise, growing, growth. If you are still thinking that China is not going anywhere, if you are still thinking China is behind, if you are think, still thinking that China's technology it cannot be compared to the US. You have to think again. I mean, already on the fast growing EV space, we know that companies like NIO, in terms of EV, no company in the world can compete with NIO when it comes to technology. When it comes to the things they are doing, they are doing most complex things. And who knows? They are using these open AIs to do some research. And thank God, right now, there's deep search, which they can even take it further and do more or invest more on their R&Ds, which is something that will take them to the next level. So I am happy that China has launched this. I am happy that China will be able to use this to grow companies, companies and businesses like Neo will grow because of this platform, DeepSeek. So I'm happy. Tell me what you think about this. I'll see you in my next video, man. All these are just my opinions, not professional financial advice. God bless you all.